Hello fifth graders. So today I am going to go over the directions for our long-term project, which is going to be designing a city map. So we've been focusing on identifying and classifying different types of triangles and quadrilaterals over the past week. You are now going to show off your shape skills to create a map of your very own city. All you need is a pencil, a piece of paper, and something straight and sturdy to trace with. So you can use a ruler, the edge of a book, the edge of a box, something like that. Read the following directions to see the requirements you need in your city. So your task is to design a map that includes several different kinds of lines, angles, and polygons, all from a bird's eye view, like you're looking down at the map. Your map can be of a town, your own neighborhood, or even a made up place. Everything in your town needs to have a name slash label. So including all streets, buildings, shops, parks, restaurants, etc. So these are the things that you need in your city. It must include the following, but it's not limited to. So that means that you can do more than what you see here. Okay, you're totally allowed to do more than that. So your map needs to include these four districts. All right, so the first district is the suburbs, okay? And what I did, I listed a bunch of examples of things that usually are in a suburban area, like a school, a pharmacy, a houses, a grocery store. All you need to do is pick three of these examples. And, and again, I says pick three, and then it says or more. So you can do all of these examples. If you have an idea of something that I don't even have listed, but it could be found in the suburbs, you can also use that as well, okay? But out of the three things that you pick, one of them needs to be shaped like a rhombus, the other one needs to be shaped like an acute equilateral triangle, and another one needs to be shaped like a trapezoid, all right? So that's the criteria for the suburbs, but you can do more than three things, but you have to have at least three things that are these shapes. The next one is your main street. Okay, so what you need to do for Main Street, you have to pick three or more things. So again, I listed a bunch of things that can be found on a Main Street. If you come up with a different idea that, of something that can be found on a Main Street, that is totally fine. You can use that as well. But you pick three of them, and then, in, and then those three buildings need to, one needs to be shaped like an acute isosceles triangle, the next one a square, and the last one a quadrilateral. And it says specify the type because quadrilateral is a big umbrella term for a bunch of different, uh, basically a four-sided shape, okay? So if you draw a quadrilateral, it could be a square, or your quadrilateral could be a rectangle, but you just have to specify what type of quadrilateral it is. So these are the first two sections of your town and city. The next one is city living. So again, I give a bunch of examples of things that are found in the city but you have to pick through at least three and include a right scalene triangle, a parallelogram, again, specify the type. It could be a rectangle, it could be a rhombus, it could be a square, and then a trapezoid, all right? And the last section is entertainment. So you, now you have to pick four or at least four, okay? And I list a bunch of things that can be found to give people entertainment and out of, those, out of those four things, one needs to be a trapezoid, another one needs to be an obtuse isosceles triangle, another one needs to be an acute equilateral triangle, and the last building has to be shaped like a square. Okay, so this is the criteria that you need to follow. Now this, this paper, it says you need to share this document with me once you are done, so I can see the examples you listed that appear in your city. So you're going to complete this table, and I'll show you in a second how to do that, and then you're going to hit share, and you're gonna type in my email address. Now along with sharing this document, you also need to take a picture of your final design city, and you could do two things. You could either take a picture and just email it to me, or you can attach your picture to the second page of this document, and then just share this document. Okay, you can do that, but what I need is this document, and I also need a picture of your city. All right, and this project is due on Friday, May 15th, so you have exactly a week to do this project. 
That's a very long time, okay? So let's do an example. Let's say Main Street. What I'm looking for when you write your examples, okay, it says pick three. Let's say I picked a library. So I'm going to say my library is, and then I made my library a quadrilateral. So it's a quadrilateral, and then it says specify the type. So my what I did for my library, I'm pretty sure my library is a rectangle. So that's the type of quadrilateral my library is in. So, so far I've already done one part of Main Street. The second one, let's say I did a train station. So the train station is a um, is an acute isosceles triangle. So my train station is an acute isosceles triangle. Always spell that wrong. And the last thing is, let's say my police station is a square. Okay. So all that's all you're doing. You're just listing what buildings are what shapes. Okay, now let's say you also have a courthouse and a post office and a firehouse. You do not need to list them here. Okay, you're more than welcome to, but all I'm looking for is that you, these three shapes, that you're identifying what buildings are these three shapes in Main Street. You're allowed to have more buildings on Main Street. You do not have to type them down in here. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly how you should start this project. Okay. What I'm going to suggest is that you do a rough draft first, okay? Just get a blank piece of paper and map out where you want your streets, where you want your buildings. Go over, make sure that you have all the right shapes in each section of your city, all right? So I'm going to show you how I did a rough draft of my city. So I start my rough draft by first just getting all of the roads drawn. So once I have my roads, then I can start kind of putting all the shapes in my sections of the city. So I have my main street, I have my suburbs, and while I'm doing this, I am actually looking at the document that tells me what I need in each city so that I know and I'm not forgetting any specific shapes. And again, I'm just labeling these shapes just very standard because it is just a rough draft and I can change the names later on. So basically when I was doing this rough draft, I was looking at the document that I shared with you guys. Basically the document that told me what four sections I had to include in my city and what shapes I needed in each section. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to double check to make sure that I included all the shapes I needed to. So I have the suburbs right here, okay? And in the suburbs, you need a rhombus, an acute equilateral triangle, and a trapezoid. So my rhombus is my ice cream, and it can also be the CVS. So I'll write CVS slash ice cream. Either one of those can count for my rhombus. Acute equilateral triangle, all of the roofs, roofs of the houses. So I'll do roof of house. And the trapezoid is the school. And again, guys, these are not set in stone. When you do your final project, you can change things around, but just make sure you still have those three shapes, okay? So suburbs is good. Now we're doing Main Street. And you can see also guys in the suburbs, I added extra stuff, like all of these houses and the park, and that's okay. Okay, you only need those three things. Main Street. So what I'm doing right now, again, I'm just double checking to make sure I do have all my shapes that are needed in each section. And again, these buildings can change in your final draft. Just make sure that you still have the three or four shapes that you need in each section. I'm just double checking just so I make sure that I don't forget any specific shapes. So now is final draft time. And of course the math teacher does not have a ruler. So I did have to use a piece of paper, but that's okay. So I'm just making all of my roads first. I'm making them very straight. You can see I'm using different objects around the house just to make sure that all my lines are straight. And now I start doing my buildings. So right now you're looking at the finished version 
of my city map. So after I laid out all the streets and after I drew all of my shapes, okay, and remember I made sure that I had exactly what I needed, okay, obviously I added a bunch more just because I was being creative with it. And I want you guys to do the same as well. I want you to have fun with this. I want you to be creative. When you're coming up with the names of your buildings, you can use landmarks around the island or on the mainland if you'd like. You can also come up with your own unique names as well. Okay, so like here you see um, like LBI Museum and there's like a bike shop and then you see uh, Bank of America, which is a real bank, but then also there's a place called Really Good Sushi. So be creative with this. I want you to kind of think outside the box with this project and have a lot of fun with it. So once I outlined all the buildings and labeled all of my buildings, the last thing I did was color everything. So this is my final product, okay? And you see all of my signs are labeled, my streets are labeled, okay? These little side streets right here don't need to be labeled, but your main streets, like I called this main street, this is park place because there's a park right here. I said this was Island Way, Entertainment Avenue. You can also get creative with these. So just to recap, right now I have a zoomed in version of one section of my city. And what you can see, I have all of the roads labeled. This is Downtown Drive, Main Street, Entertainment Avenue. You can come up with whatever names of streets that you would like to do. But right now I'm gonna look at my Downtown Drive, which is basically my city living, okay? So it said to pick three or more and include a right scalene triangle a parallelogram, and a trapezoid. So how I would fill this out, my right scalene triangle is Hotel LBI. It's a right triangle and all three sides are different lengths. So I will say Hotel LBI is a right scalene triangle, okay? My next one I had to do was a parallelogram, specify the type. Wow, I have a lot of parallelograms to choose from. Okay, so I'll do Woody's. Okay, so I'll do Woody's is a parallelogram. And the parallelogram it is, not all the sides are exactly the same. The top and bottom look a little longer, so I'm going to say it's a rectangle. And then the last one, I need a trapezoid. Okay, I have a trapezoid here as the roof. Same thing with Bank of America and the hotel pool and Ship Bottom Police Department. I could choose any one of those. I will do Ship Bottom PD is a trapezoid. Okay, and there, look at all the other things that I added to my city living. Okay, I just did that to kind of add some more stuff to it to make it actually look like a city. Okay, but all you need on here is just the three things. Okay, so just make sure you're filling this out and specifying exactly what shapes are what because this is what I'm grading you all along with drawing and coloring your city. Okay, and then once this whole thing is complete and you take a picture of it and you can either copy it to the end of it or you can send it to me through email. Okay, you can share this document with me so that I receive it. All right, I hope you guys have really a lot of fun creating all of your cities. Use your imagination, get creative. I can't wait to see everyone's design.